Well, hello everybody and welcome back there to uh, the Country Club Show today. And, uh, we're not going to have a loud steel lesson as we normally do. Today we're going to be doing uh, uh, answering a question for someone out there that had asked me. It's got one of these old show bud Mavericks. they having a hard time tuning it. And uh, they uh, actually called me on the phone and we talked, but they wanted me to do a video and do uh, so he could do it slowly because I could never get the concept down to him on how to do it. But anyway, just we'll start with that and then we'll play some music or whatever. Anyway, this one here had three pedals on it, uh, but the third pedal before I bought it got lost. It's got two knee levers and I got them folded up under it. I don't hardly ever use them because you know I'm a lap steel player, not a pedal steel. But anyway, the concept of the pedal steel, and this is tuned in an open E, not an E9 like most people do. I It was tuned in E9 when I got it, and I had to take the rods out and swap them around and do a little changing. But anyway, I'm tuning these old Showbud uh, Maverick, and I don't know how it is on the other ones. I had a uh, uh, Emmons push-pull pedal one time, and I regret getting rid of it. It was a double neck, but that was probably the best, easiest playing and smoothest guitar I've ever owned and all. But uh, anyway, this old Maverick here, and of course on the pedal steel is whenever you uh let's say you play in a g and you push the pedal down all that's doing is taking the g to a c so basically what you're doing is going from your one chord to your four chord That's your D. So from going from a G, pedal down to a C. Now you can go to a D up here, or you can take while you got your pedal down in that C, go where the A position normally is, and it is now a D. So back to the tuning part. Here's the way I tune this one. And if somebody tunes theirs differently, it works, let me know out there. I'm doing this for uh, my uh, lap steel guitars, people on Facebook, YouTube, of course, all my friends out there. I appreciate y'all showing up. Also, I'm looking over here. I'm doing it for pedal steel guitars, advice, tips, and tricks. And uh, so, on the uh, tuning, all right, I'll go to a string, and I don't care what string it is, whatever you mash it down to. If it bends it, if you pulling it two steps like mine is, that was my B string. All right, so I've got a tuner, let me get it over here and demonstrate. Uh, and I use this here uh, uh, chord tuner that I've demonstrated it if y'all look down on the thing, but it's a chromatic tuner. I can look in the left hand corner and see that I'm set up for 440 standard tuning, which is what most people. Uh, right now I'm playing a perfect B, and I mash it down, it's going to a C sharp. So, to tune this guitar, Here's the tricky part, people. I push my pedal down first. This is the first thing I do. Find my string. I want to tune to C sharp. Look at my tuner. Then I use the tuning pegs on the top. There's also tuning. There's tuning. I call them keys in the back. I have a little wrench that I'm sticking in the Allen wrench thing that turns these to tune them, but the first thing I tune is with the pedals down, right here, tune up this one on the 
on the big keys, then let off, and then look at my tuning, and come back here and fine tune it. I didn't have to tune it because it was in tune. But anyway, and I do that to all of them. The, uh, it's going good. That's a B. Then a C sharp. G sharp. I can see it's in tune. When I push it down, I'm tuned. It goes to a standard A. So, what I would do, I would push the pedal down first and go up here and tune this to a A. Then let up. Then go down there and fine tune this to an A. And that right there pushing down was a G sharp. Now I, I was playing an E. And I pushed down. Went to A. Okay, so that's the way I tune mine and I'm thanking most other people. Now on that, Emma's pedal steel, I remember, it tuned different. So every pedal steel may have its own different way. And I don't know, I had a friend that had a Showbud Pro. I don't remember, I never asked him how he tuned it, but he played it. But anyway, these guitars are not set up very good. They're very, if you're a beginner and uh, you want to buy one to play around with, that's fine, but I know the first thing I had to do to this guitar was when I pushed the pedals down, like, uh, sometimes it would go over my tuning, so I've got me some channel iron or some little L brackets like you put shelves up, took them up under there and built me some stops and put a screw through the changers where I got to stop. So now when I'm pushing down on the pedal, I can't over tighten the string or over play.
Christmas, but uh, like I said, that's the way you tune it. You push down on your pedals and you find your tune your tuning pegs up here. It's your gears first, let up, then fine tune it back there to whatever your tune it is, E9, open E, whatever.